I was paging through some papers the other day and came across this little tidbit. The Wednesday of National Library Week, which is always the second full week of April, is always National Bookmobile Day. Wow, does that bring back some memories. I can still remember that summer day when my mom said we were going to go to town to visit something called the Bookmobile. I can still picture it in my mind. It was parked on Main Street right next to the Senior Citizen Center on the west side of the building facing south. Oh, and the smell. I think that's what I remember the most. It was the first time that I got to experience what a real library book smelled like. Wow, still a great smell to this day. I'm sitting here just smiling thinking about it. I can only imagine how I must have looked to the librarian helping us check out the books. Big wide eyes and a grin from ear to ear. I remember the librarian who was helping us tell me that the bookmobile would be back in town in one month, and that's when I needed to return the books. I believe one of the first books I checked out was the Green South Dakota History book that Bob Barker's mom wrote. Yes, that Bob Barker. Man, don't you just love when memories come flooding back? Don't ask me what I had for dinner last night. I can remember everything about that first bookmobile experience. Now that I'm into my mid-50s, I've started thinking about what I'd like to do when I retire from the radio. I kind of think driving a bookmobile would be a fun thing to do. I would love to be on the receiving end of that young child walking up the bus steps for the first time, looking down that aisle at all the books stacked from one end to the other, and then getting to say, welcome to the bookmobile and the wonderful world of imagination.